have a severe problem. All right, I need a goddamn intervention. It's it's not good. All right, I just you know I picked up a sofa on the side of the road. It was free. If it's free, it's for me. But then you know I continue now to follow every goddamn yard sale sign. There's a ton of them out there today. Oh geez, now I'm on a dead end. I don't know where I am. I have a problem. There was a side of the, another side of the road thing of garbage I almost picked through I was gonna pick through it but then I saw another yard sale sign of I have a whole box of ceramic pigs now I don't know what I'm doing it's a severe problem I have things at home in bags still from the last bunch of yard sales I've been I've gone through through the summer that I haven't unpacked it's like I can't convince myself that I don't need any more shit, but it isn't shit. No, it's fine collectibles, fine collectibles and things that bring me joy. Damn it. Okay. The shit brings me joy. Leave me alone. Back off. Okay. Maybe I need an intervention. I don't know. Maybe I will end up on hoarders one day. I don't know. But I can't stop now. <laughs> no, I cannot. There are still more yard sale signs to be had. And it's only Saturday. I missed them yesterday. Do I turn left or right? This is my problem. When people make these fucking yard sale signs, they don't make them all to look the same. So you get confused if you're following one sign and then all of a sudden and there's another sign that looks different don't do that okay make them all the same and then my gps copped out on me maybe somebody was trying to tell me something the battery died i did not have my plug with me and the one in my car i still have not figured out how to use the fucking thing so i'm pressing buttons and yada 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 and people are behind me and it's not a good thing now i don't know where i am i'm lost in my own town I do that all the time. I'm lost in the sauce. Why? Because of yard sale signs. And I do hate when there's like, no, oh, I think I was supposed to turn there, or maybe not. And I hate when there's like, a, you know, there's a yard sale sign, so you start following it, and then all of a sudden, oh, I just went through a stop sign. And then all of a sudden, you're just driving and driving and driving and driving and driving. They don't, they fail to tell you that it's in the next fucking town or county. Don't do that, people. Mm -mm -mm. That's not fair to us, us hoarders. <laughs> okay, because the more gas we got to spend on getting to your yard sale, less money we're going to spend at your thing. Okay, what's the sign now? It's, there's an orange sign here. Oh, wait, I can't go that way. Where the fuck am I? Holy shit. I don't know where I am. Now I'm, at, now I'm near a lake. I didn't pass a lake before. I guess I got to turn myself around. Ooh, it's a scary lake. It's a scary place. You end up in scary places when you're doing yard sales. Oh, yeah, and especially like estate sales. You know, because you go through the whole house. I love those. Those are the best. Mm -hmm. Go through the closets and the drawers. Those are the best. Anyways, all right. I better pay attention to where the fuck I'm going because I got to get home. I got things to do. Oh, God. All right. And away I go. Okay, well, good luck at your yard sales. Good luck. Mm-hmm. And remember, if you can't use it, somebody else will. So pick it up, put it aside, stick it in your trunk. That's right, because now, as usual, my trunk is always full of shit. Mm-hmm, always full of shit. All right, I better go. I've been yakking and yicking, and nobody wants to hear this. Nobody wants to hear me complain. All right, all right, away I go.